Okay, for part two, what we're going to do is start bringing in magnets and uh, changing the field um, in the presence of a solenoid to see what happens. Um, we ask you to do this eight different ways. Um, I'm going to go over two very thoroughly so that you kind of get the idea, and then the next six will just be short videos uh, where I move the magnet and you can see which way the galvanometer deflects. Um, as we established last video, the galvanometer deflects towards the direction that current flows in. And so, um, when we're doing the solenoids, we're going to change the magnetic field, which will be caused by a current that's induced in the, in the wire that's wound around. Um, and so, while we know the current will go um, counterclockwise or clockwise, we need to know what way the solenoid is wound so that we can tell what direction the current's going to go. So if we look at the bottom of our solenoid, you can see where the lead wire winds in and goes up and corkscrews around. And so if you look at it head on, you get a clockwise rotation down this way, or if you look at it from the other end, you're going to get a counterclockwise rotation. Uh, what that means is, if your current is going counterclockwise, it's going to travel up the wire and eventually come out through this wire to this end. So if the magnetic field changes in such a way that it induces a counterclockwise current or a current that comes out on the top and goes in on the bottom, it's going to come to the right. And if it induces a clockwise current, uh, similarly, it's going to coil around and it's going to come out of this wire and it's going to go to the left. So clockwise current is going to come out on the left, counterclockwise current is going to come out on the right. And so keep that in mind when you're going through the hand motions to figure out what direction the current goes and how that is going to be displayed in the galvanometer. So the first one it asks you to do, it tells you in the drawing to bring north, so the north end of the magnet towards the solenoid. And so there's a few things that we want you to get down on your drawing. One is to label the poles of the magnet so we know which one is coming towards or away from the solenoid. Uh, we want you to label the direction of motion. So in our case, north is going to be going to the left or towards the solenoid. Uh, we want you to indicate um, then what the induced field's direction will be. So if I come in from the north, the north field po or field points away from the north end of a magnet, and so our field is going to the left. And as you may remember from last week's lab, um, field lines are denser towards the poles of the magnets, and so that it's a stronger field closer to the magnet. So as we move the north end of the magnet towards the solenoid, we're going to get more field to the left. And so this field to the left um, is increasing, so our change, our net change in field is going to be to the left. And what this means is that the solenoid wants to maintain the status quo, and so it's going to induce a field to the right to oppose this change. And to do so, we use our right-hand rule, and so field to the right means current's going to curl around counterclockwise. And as we established earlier, that means it's going to travel to the right and it's going to come in on the red side of the galvanometer. And so when you're drawing your drawing, drawing your drawing, that's redundant. When you're doing your drawing, make sure you draw the poles of the magnet, the direction the magnet is traveling, the direction of the change in field, the direction of the induced field, and then uh, the direction of current and the deflection of the galvanometer. So really quick, I'm going to do this. And so what we do is we have the north end of the magnet and we're going to bring it in towards the solenoid. And as you can see, the solenoid deflects, <laughs> deflects to the right like we expected. And so I'm going to do it again so you can see what happens. And so we bring north in and it deflects to the right. So that's with knowing that the field lines come out of north, but what happens on the south end? On the south end, field lines actually come in. And so as we move the magnet closer, we're getting more field lines in than we were before, and so our net change in field is actually towards the magnet. 
So even though we're moving the magnet to the left, our change in B is going to be to the right. And so it's going to induce a field to the left. And so again, using our right hand rule, if our field goes to the left, our fingers are going to curl around clockwise. And so we're going to get our field out to the left. So hopefully this made sense. We're going to move south in, so our direction of V will be to the left. We're going to increase field to the right because field lines go into the magnet on the south end. And so we're getting more denser field lines as we move the magnet closer. So we're increasing field to the right even though we're moving the magnet to the left. And then that's going to induce the opposite field to oppose that change. And so if we're increasing to the right, we're going to get an induced field to the left. And then we're going to curl our fingers around and we're going to get one that goes in on top and out on the bottom. And so if we look down the solenoid in the same direction, we're going to get clockwise. And so this is going to travel to the left and our galvanometer should deflect to the left. So again, let's try this one. And so we have our south end of the magnet and we bring it in and it deflects to the left. And so one more time, just so you can see it, as we bring in our magnet, it deflects to the left, just like we predicted. There you go. Um, the next few videos are just gonna be the other possible combinations. Um, there's no commentary. I'm just gonna show you the direction I'm moving the magnet and then move the magnet and you'll be able to see the direction that a galvanometer deflects and hopefully be able to make these drawings um, for the other combinations.